of all, let us gander at the international news. U.S. Senate confirmed Ketanji Bond Jenkinson as the first black woman Supreme Court Justice. The Senate confirmed Ketanji Bond Jenkinson to the Supreme Court on Thursday, shattering a historic barrier by securing her place as the first black woman justice and giving President Joe Biden a bipartisan endorsement for his effort to diversify the court. Ukraine pleads for weapons as fine loops on Eastern Fort. Ukraine Foreign Minister Dmitry Kulab said Thursday he expected NAT or members to send Kiwi the weapons to needs but instead they had to act quickly as Russia writes another major offensive. Let's move on to the national news. Budget section of parliament ends on productive note. The budget section of parliament concluded on Thursday, a day ahead of scheduled with both the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha registering impressive productive numbers and fewer discussions. Public participation sought for child protection. The government plans to partner with the private sector as well as volunteer groups of its assume for protection of vulnerable children such as those abandoned or missing. Let's switch over to the state news. Kerala to receive additional carousing, food and civil supplies, Minister G.R. Anil has said the state will receive an additional carousing allocation of 20,000 kilolitres from the central government. 14.88 crore sanctioned as honorarium for pre-primary staff. The Kerala government has sanctioned rupees 14.88 lakh as honorarium for pre-primary section employees for the period from January to March in this year. It is time for sports buff. Steve Lavin healed as Hawks coach at struggling San Diego. Steve Lavin, the former coach at UCLA and Jones was here Wednesday night to take over the struggling program at the University of San Diego. Sindhu sails into quarters. San Banson out of Korean Open. Indian shelter PV Sindhu progressed to the quarter final with an easy strike game win over Japan's Aya Orhi, but Lakshya Sun and Malavika Benson were outstanding after losing their respective second round matches at the Korea Open Super 500 Badminton Tournament here on Thursday. Namaste, welcome to the school news. Recently, the interview for the teachers for the next academic year was conducted at our school. The interview was quite impressive and a lot of candidates attended the interview with much expectation. The job experience turned up early in the morning. The interview panel consisted of Dr. Vaishwagam, Arun Sir, President Bahulain Chetan, Principal Govan Chetan, and Vijayan Chetan, etc. Weather. Some candidates are also selected. Let's watch the visuals. Namaste. Raja Zahir Brahmin was the last Hindu Brahmin ruler of the Sindh in the western region of the Indian subcontinent. In 711 CE, his kingdom was invaded by the Umayya Caliphate led by Muhammad bin Qasim where thus he died while defending his kingdom. According to Cheshnama, the Umayya campaign against Arori Raja Dahir was due to a pirate raid off the coast of the Sindhi coast that resulted in gifts to Umayyad Caliph from the king of Serendip being stolen. He was killed at the Battle of Aro which took place between his dynasty and the Arabs at the banks of Hindus River near modern day Nawab Shah at the hands of Arab general Muhammad bin Qasim. His body was then decapitated and his head was sent to the governor of Basra. He was the Chach Nama is the oldest chronicle of the Arab conquest of Sindh. It was translated in Persian by an Arab named Muhammad Ali bin Hamid bin Abu Bakr Kulfi in 1216 CE. From an earlier Arabic text believed to have been written by the Kofi family. Cut off the 
axis. Okay. So, let's fold it like this. And then, do it like this. And then, let's fold again. Next, we have to cut them like this in straight lines. Okay, first like this and cut the axis once. Thin strips or fat strips. Thank you. 